What's going on, Vegas? How y'all feeling? Okay, there's like 12 of y'all. There's too many motherfuckers in here. Y'all looking too goddamn good on a Monday to be this motherfucking quiet. Vegas, how the fuck y'all feeling? Truth be told, where you from? Originally, I'm from Saginaw, Michigan. I now reside in Michigan? Okay, okay. Don't, don't, y'all ain't get shot. God bless you, okay. But now I'm in Phoenix, Arizona, so I'm right down the street. So you're a little bit closer. Hey, we, we ain't got no sense from Michigan, so forgive us. Forgive my auntie right there. Forgive my auntie. <laughs> um, so how long you been performing, Truth? Man, full time, about five years now. Been doing my thing, man. Had um, been blessed, been on BET, been on MTV, VH1, uh, won Spoken Word Artist of the Year at the National Poetry Awards this year. So, I'm just trying to stay a little busy. So you're gonna bless this mic tonight? I'm, I'm gonna do what I can. I'm, I'm gonna do what I do. It, it, it depends on the crowd, cause you know, I don't, if this is your first time in a poetry event, make some noise. Okay, wow. so, th so, so they, don't, they don't know how things go, so we got to wow. tell them how it go. All right, so if you've ever seen like a poetry event where it's like, and the moon and the stars and the earth, that ain't what you came for tonight. That, that, in the words of Bernie Mac, that ain't what the fuck you about to hear. So the way this works, the energy you give me, I'm going to give back to you. The energy he so if you. I suck, it's your fault. Yo, stay, yo, stay. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Also, something else that I happen to do. If while I'm performing, I happen to say something that you like, you can yell rewind and I'll say it again. Cool? Let's try it once, let's try it one time. Somebody say rewind. Rewind. God damn, y'all ready. Okay. So before we get started, do y'all want some real shit? Tell hold, hold, on, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Tell them about, about the rewind. rewind. Okay. I hear you, valet. I hear you. So if I say a line in a poem that you like, and you want me to say that line again, you say... Rewind! And I'll say the line again. Now, we ain't going to be up here all damn night doing rewinds and shit. You got like a, a two rewind limit per line. Then you got to buy a CD if you want to hear the shit, all right? All right? Cool. So... You got some choices. To kick the night off, do you want some real shit, some funny shit, or some freaky shit? Huh? Some, hey, I heard combo. some real combo. freaky combo. shit. Combo. They, want a combo. they want some real like, freaky like shit, freaky truth funny. be told. Freaky funny. <laughs> you know what? Hold up. Real freaky we, funny hey, shit. We'll, hey, we'll come up. Hey. When I come up for round two, I do the freaky shit then. But for now, some real shit. Okay, she, she said she wants some real shit. They said she wants some real shit over here, so I got y'all. So before I get started, I need to apologize for like the first 20 to 25 seconds of this poem. Hey, I heard the music. I'm just, yeah, y'all might want to close that, pimpin'. So, like I said, um, I'm a poet. I'm not a singer. But for some reason, poets like to sing. It's like niggas with no teeth smiling. Shit make you feel good. So I apologize for the first 20 seconds, okay? Okay? All right. <clears throat> I'm gonna need a drink after this. All my nights and all my days Thinking about my struggles and nights I pray But the people can't see what I go through If them people ain't me, what they know about All my nights, all my days Thinking about my struggles, nights I pray But the people can't see what I go through If them people ain't me, what they know about What you know about having $8 in your pocket? Bet that on gas money, you go to a show and rock it and you ain't even concerned about CDs and that profits because God's word don't come back void on what he promised. Look, what you know about your bills past due? And the only cat that's got your back past you is the one that's in the mirror. See, for me, that's cool because I know he going to be here when the storm pass through. Listen. Rewind. I said, what you know about your bills past due? And the only cat that's got your back past you is the one that's in the mirror. See, for me, that's cool because I know he going to be here when the storm pass through. Listen. You can't wait for others to motivate you. Your hustle and your heart determine what God take you. So if you're trying to find some way to make a breakthrough, motherfuck tomorrow, you got today. You, 
I said, motherfuck tomorrow. You got today. You can keep that fire inside of you like a matchbox. Be your own cheerleader. Make pride your mascot. Wear that shit around your neck like an ascot. That's how you stay on fire, people. Now, that's hot. See, I was told that persecutions are only cool to the one holding the hammer and nails. Which explains why people have issues hammering details from they passed out. Passed out from the exhaustion of carrying their own cross and see, throwing in your two cents don't mean you paid the cost to put yourself inside my insoles. If you've never been through anything, nigga, leave now. This ain't for you. This ain't for some timey ass folk that scream on Sundays between pews and view you like your shit ain't perfect. Quick to turn your bad habits to their Facebook status but can't face themselves. Quick to turn your bad habits to their Facebook status, but can't face themselves when it's time for action. See, I write lines to provide sunshine for those who have helped wanted signs on their lives. Is that you? See, right now in this room, somebody is too afraid to look at themselves in the mirror for fear of letting the razor slip on purpose while shaving. I'm trying to save them. Too often we get lost in other people's transgressions and act as if there's no exception except him for when it comes to being less than perfect, but rather focus on my fault so you can ignore yours on purpose. Searching for a place to rest your head at night because your head ain't right unless your shortcomings don't feel protected. So if you need somebody to clown on, you can look up to me to look down on. View my situation that you may frown on because unaware to you, I went through my own hell in order to find home. See, I survived gunshots, knives, attempted suicides, and death from a seizure before I was five. God got me here for a reason. And even as a youth, my parents said it was apparent I'd be a preacher, but I thank God I'm a poet. See, I stay devoted. Spoken word for me is more than Sunday mornings, Wednesday nights, poetry slams, and open mics. I don't play poet. See, this gift ain't a game God gave me. He made me design each rhyme as if each line is trying to find salvation. So it's safe to say I write the hell out of a poem. I said, so it's safe to say I write the hell out of a poem. Exercising demons just by speaking. See, time ain't something I'm taking for granted. So every time you see me on stage, I engrave it with the soul of Suge Avery. Maybe God trying to tell me something. Like how the, like how the contradiction after the benediction causes conflict, because y'all know niggas don't know each other past 2.30 on Sunday, right? <laughs> so how can I reach you from a pulpit if you think your pastor full of shit? That's why. So how can I reach you from a pulpit if you think your past are full of shit? That's why that young kid who feels his life ain't worth living feels his spirits lifted from the lyrics I give him. Ain't that deliverance? What's the significance of having a gift if nobody can receive it? See, I too touch the youth, just not like Catholic preachers. Me, I'm a poet. <laughs> And I know this don't make me better than anybody else. Poets never claim to be. Never said we're better persons. They're trying to make you better persons through our verses. And this ain't me versus churches. I just know what my purpose is. See, I stare at blank pages. They look right back at me, asking me what is it that I have to give? Because somewhere, some little girl has had her life jaded by a rapist. Her mama made her call daddy. And had she never heard the poem with the line where I say she's somebody's sunshine, she'd have stopped trying. Another murder or suicide victim prevented by what was written. See, I write to lighten loads on people's shoulders, console them and build up pillars of respect so those columns don't bind and they pick up Virginia texts. Forget poetry. I write lifelines. Rewind time until you find points you're saved. Save your points, find you until time rewinds. Guys, this ain't poetry. These are testimonies. I said rewind time until you find points you're saved. Save your points, find you until time rewinds. Guys, this ain't poetry. These are testimonies. And every cat tonight you hear speaking ain't nothing but a deacon. And I ain't fly here from Michigan for no game and no show. And this shit stopped being a poem like a minute ago. See this? I said, this shit stopped being a poem like a minute ago. This ain't a poem. These are God's teachings reaching my thinking, leaking through my ink pen on stage speaking in hopes that I reach them. I said, this ain't a poem. These are God's teachings reaching my thinking, leaking through my ink pen on stage speaking in hopes that I reach them. His people. Which people? <gasps> Anybody breathing? 
And if your love is as blind as mine, you can see what I'm seeing. So I'm going to keep on speaking till he say when. The doors of my verses are open. Let the church say, Amen. See you around too. Yeah.